Hello, my name is Simon Schönhaar. Hello, my name is Simon Schönhaar, and today I'd like to show you the resource assignment in the PASS 4000. Let's take a look at the tool. The resource assignment editor is found in our project manager below the hardware configuration. The editor is designed in such a way that an overview of the blocks in the project can be seen in the upper left side while the devices in the project are on the right hand side with the corresponding resources. We can now assign a block to a resource via drag and drop. In other words, we can drag the program and drop it on the relevant resource, in this case failsafe. The editor automatically generates a new task with medium priority and a task cycle time of 100 milliseconds as default settings. I can very easily adapt these properties to suit my project later. As you can see, I have various device types in my hardware configuration. One PSSU multi-type device and two devices of the type PSSU Universal PLC. I can only assign multi-projects to a multi-type device. This works in the same way as the assignment of STL or IL type programs. Here too, I can adapt the task properties later and modify the cycle times or priorities. Each resource can contain up to a maximum of 9 tasks with different task cycle times and priorities. One big advantage of the automation system PSS4000 is the decentralization of control intelligence. In this case, a centralized user program is distributed over several equal control systems, as opposed to previous solutions in classic automation which used the master-slave principle. This distribution has already been made. Subsequent changes are very easy to implement thanks to this concept. I can simply move the programs to other PLC headers in my project. Once we have successfully distributed the programs to the control systems, we can now continue with the I.O. mapping or if this has already been done, we can immediately start downloading to the control system.